All right, so just pulled up. About to meet the uh, family and get the dragons. I'm excited. All right, so I just picked up the babies. They are beautiful. Look at these babies. But yep, this is the uh, first clutch, the older clutch. Beautiful babies. This right here is the second clutch, the baby clutch. The smallest clutch, I mean. They're all babies, obviously, but look at the colors, guys. Beautiful babies. Beautiful babies, all hypos. Like I said, you guys will see them on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and get them back to the house, get them set up, but I just wanna show them to you right quick. soak these babies first we're going to start with the ones that i just picked up then we'll go ahead to soaking the babies that are in the reptile room and getting their tanks clean so i have two bins i have the uh small babies the the last clutch to hatch and then i have the clutch that hatched first of course these guys are bigger i'm gonna need to break these down into separate groups okay i can see based on the size they've been growing up at different speeds these for the most part can just get separated into two evenly uh size groups Okay, so, but this is probably going to be broken down into like three or four groups, depending upon. We'll see as I start to break them down. Now, before I go any further, just want to take a moment to uh, acknowledge my Brick Red Production t-shirt. A lot of you guys are familiar with this t-shirt. This is actually a dragon that I used to have, one of my favorite dragons of all time. His name was MJ, a.k.a. Jumpman. Um, he was a translucent red bearded dragon, okay? Brick Red. Uh, followed a lot of beautiful babies for me made his t-shirt in honor of him. And we also offer this t-shirt on our website. I'm gonna be coming out with some more t-shirts soon as we start to uh, get up and going. But uh, I'm actually gonna be discontinuing this t-shirt uh, very soon, probably within the next few months. So if you'd like to order this t-shirt, you might wanna do it now. We also have the Brick Red Production backpack. Okay, love this backpack. I did a whole uh, quick little video, well not a video just on it, but I talked about it in another video. But great backpack, uh, good quality. I got it for sale. I got it on sale on the website right now. I believe it's like 10 or 20% off. So uh, like I said, I'll be discontinuing the brick production line um, fan wear. So if you want to get some, now's the time to get it. And please believe me when I say that every sale or purchase in the store definitely helps to uh, benefit us here at Lizard of Oz, all right? And we appreciate it. Now, jumping on in, let's go ahead and get to soaking the babies. Now, I got lukewarm water here. It's not boiling hot, but it's not cold at all, okay? It's warm. All right, so warm water. And what we want to do is we're going to just go ahead and get all the babies in the water. And I'll let you guys see them once I got them all in the water. And as I'm going through and I'm putting them in the water, a good thing to do would be to take a moment to look at all of them, inspect them, see who's who, what's what, what's going on with everybody, okay? Not gonna try to sex anybody just yet in this clutch because they're too small for it to even matter at this moment. I don't plan on selling them any of them right now. I'm gonna let them grow up and color up, but I can tell you that they have some beautiful color. Look at that. They're all hypos. Some are leathers and some are not, but they got some beautiful red and orange coloration. Uh, both parents were hypos. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they're looking good. And they're pretty docile. Let me bring the camera in a little closer for you. Guys, you better see it a little better now. We got five in so far from this bin. Here's number six. Look at that. Beautiful. I mean, these guys have some really nice colors. Really nice barn on this one. Wow, look at that. And these guys only hatched uh, a week ago. And so they're not even a full week old, actually. They hatched on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So they're about five days old. Got some nice size on them. Look at that. That is beautiful. <laughs> and I, I didn't buy these with the intentions of keeping any. Honestly, I was buying these with the intentions of reselling them so that I can raise some money to go ahead and start working on the building. But as I'm going through these, 
I don't know. I might have to keep one or two for myself because the colors on these guys are really nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to <laughs> really inspect these guys closely over this next couple weeks, but here's three right here. These are beautiful. Can you see that? Beautiful. That's nice. Oh, I, I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, so here we go. Better angle for you guys. Look at them. They're going to color up nicely. I can tell. Like I said, I have pictures of the parents. The parents were beautiful. Both parents were hypos. Beautiful babies. Really like this one. All right, so let them soak for a few more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the water in this tub for these guys here. And then we're gonna go ahead and get these guys in their tank. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna put everybody in this bucket right here. And that way I can get a better idea of who is what and what sizes are, you know, et cetera, so forth and so on, okay? Now in this group, they're pretty, but I noticed that they have a few, you know, slight tail nips, etc. No big deal. Um, after a week or two and a good shade, tail should look pretty much normal for the ones who do have nips. None of these nips are severe, or at least I haven't seen any severe nips thus far. But this is one of the reasons why I wanted to go ahead and take uh, the dragons off of these people's hands because I know firsthand how overwhelming, you know, hatching out a bunch of babies can be. And if you're not really prepared or have never experienced this before, it can easily escalate into a situation where the babies are nipping each other up, turning each other up, and you're just trying to figure out how to stop it, and you can't. You know, it really it really takes some experience. You really need to know what you're doing. It's it's easy to put two dragons together. It's easy to dig up some eggs, it's even easy to throw them inside of an incubator, but it's hard to hatch them out and raise them up the right way. And you know, I'm, I'm trying to help you all with that on this channel, and I felt like me taking these dragons off of these people's hands was going to be a big help. And as I said before, right now, I know that my production won't be back up for another year at least, and I really need to come up with capital so that I can start moving forward with getting this building done or doing whatever else I'm going to need to do to get the building done. So that's where we are. Now this one right here has a, a slightly severe nip. I would, I would call that slightly severe. But like, again, like I said, I have a couple sheds, this will heal. It's already healed and closed. But this will come off and you'll never even notice. Now of course when it comes time to resell these dragons, any dragons that do have nips, I will be sure to know, you know, to, to make that known before purchasing. And I will, of course, make sure that things are priced accordingly. Now, as you notice in this clutch, there are a lot more normal scales than we had in the other clutch. But this also is a bigger clutch in the sense that there's more dragons in this clutch. But one thing I've noticed in my breeding is that when you have a dragon lay multiple clutches, it seems that the dragons uh, become more and more prolific with each clutch. So the first clutch, the dragons might come out looking pretty, you know, normal. We might get a pretty even mixture of dragons, leather scales, and I mean leatherbacks and normal scales, etc. And then that second clutch from that same pairing would come out even more, uh, you know, prolific. Probably have more leatherbacks more hypos or more genetics and each time each clutch seemed to be more and more you know exciting than the clutch before as far as what you have going on genetically so that seems to be the case in this in this case right here a lot of these babies are going into shit yeah so their uh colors are a little duller than they would be but i, I like this clutch uh, a little rougher than the than the uh, smaller clutch of course because of the nips but still some beautiful babies and i'm looking forward to finding these babies some some uh forever homes so let me go ahead and divide these up. How I'm gonna do it initially is I'm gonna divide them up by size. 
I want them to be, you know, in groups based on size. And then I'm going to go and see who has nips and who doesn't. Anybody who doesn't have nips, of course, I'm going to try to keep it like that. So I want to uh, isolate them or separate them from the dragons that, of course, do already have nips. And this will just make it easier for me to keep track of who's who and what is what. As you can see, we got some poops. <laughs> They're green, so somebody must be eating their veggies. That's a good sign. Okay, so we got these four over here. All right. My massive monsters here. Let me see. Can you fit with this group? Yeah, you can. So we got five. Okay, good. That works. Actually, these one, two. I like this size. It's already these guys together already. One, two. You're really small. So I'm gonna put you over here with this guy. See, <laughs> but you're not that bad. Your tail's tore up though, so you might be aggressive. We'll see. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's four tanks. So I'm thinking about combining these into one group here and I'm putting these together in a three footer and then this is one group and I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll give you guys a quick walk through. Three foot tank here in this tank I have two of my green project babies. They're pretty much the same size and I've been watching them closely obviously since this nip. Uh, the girl that was in here that got nipped she didn't get nipped by these two. She got nipped by a bigger male that was from the clutch. I'll show you in a second. You've all seen them before, the hypo trans. But these two are pretty green, pretty beautiful, looking good. And they should do well now in this three footer. Um, so we'll see how that goes. All right, Ray. So far, you can get a shot. Tell me when you're filming. I don't know if you're filming. I'm filming. 